Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with a new video from Grade 8 Science. This is Unit 13, Food Preservation. I have divided this lesson into several parts. This is the first subtopic, Need of Food Preservation. Food spoils mainly due to the growth and action of microorganisms on food. Let's see some examples. Here you can see fresh food and spoiled food. Examples are coagulation of milk, growth of malt on bread, spoilage of fish, rancid of coconut oil. In addition to the microbial activity, food is also spoiled by the damage caused by macroorganisms such as weevils and grain borers growing on food. Here you can see weevils on paddy, weevil spoil series and pulses such as paddy, gram and green grams. Food such as vegetables, fruits and cereals become unsuitable for human consumption due to not following the correct technological methods during processing. From harvesting to the market, they are subjected to bushels, cuts, lacerations, squishes, and bumped. Therefore, such food becomes unconsumable. As microorganisms already act on such damaged food, they spoil them fast. Natural changes in food occur because of the action of various chemical substances such as enzymes present in food. It is called self-degradation. Let's see some example. Maturation, ripening and purification of fruits. Different methods are used to preserve food and it will be helped to fulfill nutrient requirement of man. Let's see some examples for self-degradation, maturation of banana, ripening of apple. The process of making food stay longer by artificially controlling the factors affecting food spoilage is called food preservation. Some attempts are made to preserve the nutritional value and other characteristics of the food item during the food preservation. Aims of food preservation are reduction of food spoilage, prevention of food poisoning and use the excess food by processing to them, use it all seasons. In this lesson, you have to do several activities. The first one is to distinguish preserved food from several food types. Here you will need cow milk, rice, fresh fish, a bottle of sterilized milk, packet of dried sparrows, dried jackfruit, lime pickle, dried fish. Here, first of all, you have to keep samples of food provided to you exposed to air. Observe the color and texture of these samples every day for about a week under the guidance of your teacher. Tabulate your observations. This is the observation table with two columns, food type and observation. From the observation, it is clear that properties like food color, odor and texture change within a few hours in food items such as cow milk and fresh milk. It can be observed that in sealed bottle milk, atukos, dried fish, lunudehi and dried sparrow had no observable change in properties such as color, odor and texture. It is because of these items are preserved. 